Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I have 22 big money bolo items, items that I sold for $35 or more. Most of them are higher than 35, but my bread and butter are 35 or less. So that's how I kind of break it up. I am going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I know there's at least two, uh, three items that sold for 100 or more. So, um, we're going to get started here and thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we're just going to dig right into these bolos. All right. So the first item, and this is more of a lower end big money, but still like, I feel like you can find these, you know, and I sold this for a best offer of $35. The buyer was all in for $51.12 with tax and shipping. So um, it's Wee Crafts. And they are Santa Clauses. And they're ready to paint. And I put easy to paint. I probably should have put ready to paint in the title. Because I think people search that. But um, yeah, arts and crafts are a good thing to sell. Sometimes they're long tail. But uh, this one came from an estate sale and I paid $2 for it. And it was new old stock. The next item are these Disney Brave figures. And there's a whole bunch here. I probably could have parted this out, but decided to just price it kind of high and um, just keep the price high. <laughs> you know, I could have parted it out and maybe got $10 for a couple figures, 15 you know. And maybe I would have made more money parting it out, but it would have taken longer to sell. So I ended up selling this lot of toys for a best offer of $50. The buyer was all in for $59.78. And they are brave figures. And I, I think I pick these up at multiple places. I pick them up at garage sales. Sometimes they come in mystery boxes. But this was... Um, might have been a couple separate garage sales. I'm going to say probably five bucks or less in all of them. The next item I sold is this vintage Marks of Navarone Army Mountain playset. This is the elevator rail, you guys. It's the elevator rail. And I sold this for $75. So um, I found this 1970s Marks of Navarone playset at a garage sale. I paid $2 for the entire set. Now, I'm going to show you a couple other items in this video that sold because multiple items have sold for big money. Um, how I shipped this. It's kind of an awkward thing. It's longer than it looks. I took a pool noodle and I stuck it in the center. And that is how I shipped it. So it would not get broken because $75, like I definitely don't want it to break. Um, so that ended up working out well. The buyer was all in for $87.94. By the time I parted this out, I probably had five to 10 cents in it. And if you want to see how I parted out this entire set, you can go over to my reseller testing products YouTube channel and I have a video on it. Uh, there is a link down in the description. The next item I sold is this Kaminsky Women's uh, Rafia, Rafia, I'm not sure how to say it. I think that's the material of the hat. And it's a rolled brim made in Australia hat. I learned about this brand and these hats from um, Butterfly Hustles. Carol is like, she finds so many amazing hats. But I had no clue until I started watching her channel and I have found a bunch. So I ended up selling this for a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I picked up at a garage sale, I paid $6 for all of these. I thought about parting them out and I took the lazy road and I lotted them together. There were 11 of them. And I ended up selling them for $75 and the buyer paid shipping. So these are Disney Store Tiny Kingdom minifigures. And I actually went to a garage sale the other day and picked up four more. So I'm going to check those out. All right, you guys. Big money bolo right here. These sold for a best offer of $85 and the buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $96.62 for four goodie stay tight hair barrettes. Uh, these are the faux tortoise. So that's a very, very popular sought after barrette right there, you guys. These are three inches long. These are the bigger ones. So definitely be on the lookout. 
The next item I had never heard of, uh, these are Eddie Borgo Gold Tone Stud Earrings. They have a spike back on them. You can see they're signed right here. These came out of a um, bulk buy, and I ended up selling these for a best offer of 50 and the buyer was all in for $59.85. This was the 344 pounds of jewelry. It was one of the items in that lot. The next item came from a Dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino. This was the box that I bought from my husband because it had some uh, coins and some watches that I figured he would like. And um, we unboxed it together. So it was kind of like, I'm going to get him a box and I'm going to make him unbox it with me and he can keep some stuff, right? Good deal. So if you want to meet my husband, you can go over to uh, my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and we actually unbox this box. This was one of the items that he did not want because this is um, more of, I think it attaches to like a, fem a girl's purse. Um, it's a key fob type deal. And it's Dooney and Bork. I think that's how you say it. And I ended up selling this for $48.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, that entire box um, I paid $160 for. Um, if you want to check out uh, the whole unboxing, again, that's over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. And um, just search Dibble. Um, I have Dibble box unboxings on this channel and that channel. Um, I love buying them. They're super fun. Uh, and I make a lot of money on them. So if you want to check out uh, Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You, they do selling events on each other's channels. The links are down below. The next item is this vintage Del Clour. I don't know, Del Clour. Ah. Anyway, it's a rare perfume from France. And I sold this for $75 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, um, you have to put this under collectible if the collectibles, if the item is pre owned. So, um, uh, you can't put it under new. It has to be used collectible. Uh, a lot of times people just, they like the bottles, they want the bottle or they want the perfume, you know? So just make sure you put it under the right description and you ship it ground. The next item I sold is this, I got a story for you, this Mego Dynamite doll. I got her at a garage sale and I went the first day to the garage sale and I did not buy her and I saw her and I'm like, six dollars? I can't spend six dollars. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so cheap, you guys. I would have missed it, you know? Um, I went back the next day. Everything was half off. I ended up getting it for three dollars. I should have bought it for six, but I didn't look up comps and that was a mistake. I ended up selling this for $120 and the buyer paid shipping. So um, I'm glad it was still there. And I can't believe that all of those people that went to that garage sale, we all passed it up on the first day. So I wasn't the only one. The next item I sold are these mixed lot of carded embroidery floss. Um, I sold these for $37.50. I picked these up at a thrift store for $3. Um, the buyer did pay shipping on those. The next item I sold is this McDonald's Happy Meal Porcelain Hinge Trinket Box. I sold this for $40.99. The buyer was all in for $46.94. I got this at an estate sale. I do have footage on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel of the estate sale. I sold this for less because I repaired it. If you look right here. I had to glue the top back on and I just disclosed that. Now, I will tell you there were not any comparables for this item and um, I used WorthPoint. And because I used WorthPoint, I sold this for much more than I would have because I had no idea it was as valuable as it was. Um, I do have a video over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. There's a link down in the description. Oh, here's the box that I did with my husband. I bought a Dibble box and you can see we're right here. Um, so you can check that one out. But is worth point worth it? So you guys, in this video, I show you two Bolo items and I show you how worth point has paid off for me and how it's worth how it's worth it. That's my opinion. I held off on getting worth point for a really long time because I'm cheap. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I gave it a shot because 
I'm going to make more money because of it. And uh, I kind of am kicking myself now because I've wanted to sign up for it for a long time. And I'm like, no, I don't want to pay that money. But what I'm learning in, in this business is I've been selling since 2005 and you have to invest in your business. Um, I, I use tools that make life easier. <laughs> you know, like now I use List Perfectly and I can cross post so much faster than manually doing it. Does it cost me money every month? Yes. But how much time does it save me? And how much more am I getting listed because I'm spending less time cross posting? So, I mean, that fee per month, it, it just pays for itself. It's a no brainer. But anyway, speaking of list perfectly, if you guys haven't checked it out, I do have a link down in the description with a video. Um, and I show you how I cross post. So what I do is I list to eBay and then I cross post in bulk to Mercari and Poshmark. And um, if you check out the video and you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with uh, my coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And I do have a link for WorthPoint. It's a referral link also. Um, there's no coupon for WorthPoint, unfortunately, but List Perfectly does give you 30% off. So those links are down in the description. If you want to use my links, that's awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, and we are going to keep moving. And you guys, I, I don't typically push a lot of things unless I'm using them and love them. So, um, and I think most of you that watch me know that. So I plan to stand true to that. Um, I, I just, I can't push something that I don't use and believe in. So, all right. The next item is this vintage paper mache egg and um, made in Germany. It is so cute. Uh, I feel like I could have got full asking price for this, but I did take a best offer of $55. So I only had to come down five bucks. And these are, they're just awesome. Uh, I got it at a garage sale for $4 and the buyer was all in for $63.20. And this one just has this adorable little puppy dog on it. Again, I tried this auction style and I was so hoping I was going to get like this huge bidding war. Um, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, you never know. Maybe if I would have listed it more towards Easter. Okay, the next item I sold is this vintage shop with me talking cash register. I pulled this out of a mystery box. I honestly, at first, I was just going to donate it. And then I looked up comps and I'm like, ah, no, I'm not going to donate that. Um, I did put a video down in the description. So over on my reseller testing products, I will um, do a video to show people how the item works. And then I will attach it into my description. Now this shows the item works, but it also shows how it works. So I highly recommend it. Um, I do have a video that tells you how to do that. Also add a video. The buyer was all in for 7606 on that. The next item I pulled out of a thrift store for 50 cents. Yay. I sold a single stitch. Um, super exciting for me. I am getting away from clothes, but you better believe I'm going to pick up a vintage single stitch t-shirt. Um, I ended up selling this for a hundred dollars on best offer and the buyer was all in for 116 25. Um, again, I have been selling since 2005 and I will tell you, I get excited every single time I hear the cha-ching. I don't think that sound can ever get old. Um, literally love my job and I, I mean, 2005, that's a long time to have the same job. The next item are rats. These are the two inch ones. Um, not as sought after, but still a nice bolo. These sold for $48 and 75 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this cranium caribou treasure hunt game. This is the beginner and the advanced. And the only thing I think it was missing was the gym inside this uh, treasure chest, there is a gem. And unfortunately it was missing, but I still sold it for $52 and 50 cents. Now I did find another caribou at the Goodwill and it was missing some items. So I ended up parting that one out. And if you want to see how I parted out a caribou set to like make a lot of money with a, a set that is missing pieces, go over to my reseller testing products and look up caribou. The next item I sold is this mid-century modern ceramic fish. I should say my husband sold 
he got this, I believe it was an estate clean out. Um, he went like after the estate was over and bought some stuff. So he didn't have much in it. Sold it for $45. Buyer was all in for $65.27. This is a part of that vintage uh, Marks of Navarone playset that I was telling you about. This truck sold for $48.75. And whoops. This tank sold for, I took a best offer of $55 on this. Um, so these are both a part of that play set. They're not very big. Um, they're just plastic. I mean, really, they seem like cheap plastic to me, but they are definitely a bolo item because they go with that play set. I mean, look at the wheels. Nothing fancy there, guys. Uh, the buyer was all in for $64.18 on this one. And then I sold another Berkham bunny. You guys, I think I have like six or seven bunnies left. That is it. And I want to say originally I had 32 and I have sold every single one so far for $70 and up. So um, the Berkham bunny, it's like I'm known for the Berkham bunnies. So if you want to hear more about the Berkham bunnies, you can check out the thrift battle on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel, the first thrift battle. If you want to know more about the vintage Marks of Navarone, that was on the second thrift battle that I did over there. Um, so I do just have more details. So that is over on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you can hit that thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. If you made it this far, leave me some emoji down in the comment section. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.